Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone, Editor-in-Chief of the Woodworkers Journal Magazine. We're back in the shop today talking about how laser engraving can enhance woodworking. You know, one of the characteristics of wood is that once it's flat, it tends to stay flat, and it's not very flexible. But, as you might expect, with laser engraving, we can do something to affect that. This is called a living hinge, and it's pretty cool. We're going to give you the programming to allow you to cut that, so let me show you how it's done. For this 50 watt unit, we set the engraving speed to 100% and use 100% power and a setting of 600 dpi. The machine is set to combination cutting. For the vector cutting settings, we used speed of 25% at 100% power and a frequency of 500. The first step is engraving the quote on the surface of the wood. It's a pretty simple task. It's a raster file and the process is the same as engraving, say, an image. The engraving process goes pretty quickly. After the quote is completed, the machine switches to the vector cutting part of the program. Vector files can be set to cut through thin stock. As you can see here, the machine is cutting the properly spaced slots that will become the living hinge section of the project. Cutting out the perimeter of the notebook cover is also a vector operation. The edges of a vector cut like this are burned black, which is an attractive looking treatment. When the outline of the notebook cover is cut out, the machine returns to refining the living hinge cuts. When it is completed, the laser head goes back to its ready position. This is so cool. I love it. This living hinge is one of the coolest things I've ever seen cut with a laser engraver. As I said, we have the files available for free online, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing it being made here. I'm Rob Johnstone for Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching.